Premier Juice. Today we're gonna learn about the beginning basics of Adobe Premiere Pro and how to get started in the editing program. It can be overwhelming at first, so I'm gonna walk you through it and you'll be off to editing your beautiful little videos ASAPs. So when you click Premiere and you open it, you can either work on a current project that you've already worked on or you can start a new project. We're starting a new one. Okay, we're gonna save this too. If you hit browse, you can save it somewhere. We're gonna save it to our desktop. Don't worry about any of this stuff because you can change all that within Premiere and we will do that, okay? So now we have this naked, beautiful, gray, we have Premiere open, okay? So yours might look different. If this is the first time you're opening Premiere, it probably looks different than mine. I'm gonna walk you through how I have mine set up. If you wanna mimic mine, you can. It's really simple. I think it's super efficient. So basically, if you click Window up here, you can see all the little workspaces that you have open currently. These are mine. Usually, there's a ton of extra ones that I never use. What you do to get rid of it is hit this little uh, three bar thing hit close panel. If you wanna move something, you just click and drag on the word and find your favorite purple highlighter. Maybe up here. Great, I like mine down here. Boom, and then I want it on the right. I do things a certain way, it doesn't make it the right way. I'm just gonna go through how I do things and if you have a better thing that you do, like more efficient, let me know because I like to be as efficient as possible. Very first thing that I like to do is just import my footage right away. So over here in the import media to start, which is in our project, little folder, double click, and we are gonna go into Large Lisa, my favorite hard drive, and my client projects, 2019, and then we're just gonna look at some of this narrative footage that I shot for a band, but we're just gonna kinda treat it as a short film or something. So we're gonna import this entire folder. Now our footage is in Premiere, and we're ready to kinda get rocking. So the first thing I like to do is just double click into the folder, grab this first clip and drop it in. And this creates our sequence as you can see here, boom. What I like to do is go up into my sequence settings and you can see that I shot this footage in 60 frames per second, but I don't want my timeline to play back at 60 because it'll look super smooth. So what I like to do is go to sequence settings, change this to 23.976, which is cinema standard playback frames per second. So right here, you can see that our resolution is in UHD 4K, 3840 by 2160 pixels, which is 16 by nine aspect ratio, which takes up your entire like TV, computer, I'm gonna hit okay. So now that we have our like sequence set up, I'm gonna rename it. You can tell this is your sequence down here because it has the blue icon. Sick sequence. Um, I'm gonna delete this clip. To get started with your edit, basically the first thing you wanna do is go through every clip that you shot and choose the best parts of it. This is our very first clip here. I'm just gonna double click it. Now it shows up in our source monitor. So the source just shows us what's what that entire clip is. It's not actually in the video. Anything that's in the timeline down here, that's your actual like video, that's the edit. Right here, we're just selecting what we want to be in the timeline. So let's just basically take our mouse and drag through. Okay, I, let's just say we like that shot of him tying his shoe. So we find the spot where we want the clip to start, hit I to set our endpoint, and then I just drag to where I want it to stop. Let's go right there hit o to set our out point so now this is our in and out points there's a couple ways you can put this into the timeline one is you can click and drag the clip and it gives you video and audio so it's right there the other way that you can get your clip in the timeline is after you set your in and out point you can literally just press comma in order for the comma to work you have to make sure that your playhead is at the very back side of the clip and one way to ensure that it's in the perfect spot is to go in front of that clip, like over here, and then hit the up arrow. And you can use the up arrow and the, and the down arrow to cycle through the front and the back of clips. So then once it's at the back side of the clip, you can just hit comma to keep dropping clips in. So we're gonna command Z that, cause it's all the same thing. Let's go to our second clip and let's pick our favorite part of this. I think he's gonna grab the backpack. Yep, so let's just get him grabbing the backpack. So we're gonna hit I and then O and then comma, and that just drops that sucker right in there. Now, if you wanna see like what you've selected to make sure you did a good job, take your playhead and you can just drag it to the very back, or you can hit this back button here, and it will just set you to the very beginning of the video. Then you click into your timeline to make sure it's highlighted blue, and then hit spacebar. So that's like the very basics of just getting 
your footage in the timeline. If you would like to zoom into your timeline so these little clips aren't so tiny, you can use the plus and minus keys. Or if you hold option, you can use your mouse cursor to zoom in and out. And wherever your mouse is, it will zoom in there. And then if you also hold shift, you can use your mouse rotator to go left and right. So let's say that we wanna put some music into this. So I'm actually gonna just go back to the beginning of this folder by hitting this guy. So this takes us back here. And I'm gonna just drop some audio in there. So I'm gonna go to my finder and on my desktop, I have a folder of music that I use for vlogs. And so I'm gonna put that in here. We're gonna double click in here to get into this folder and look, a bunch of beautiful music. Click drag audio only and that brings the whole song in as well. I'm just gonna show you how to cut and drag footage. Let's say we want this clip to start right on this little piano hit here. Right there. So what I would do is just zoom in, use my right arrow key to hear that little piano key come in. If you don't hear the audio playing while you're scrubbing like this, what you do is go to your Premiere Preferences audio and then you make sure play audio while scrubbing is selected hit OK and then that should work you should hear the audio scrubbing so we found this little piano key and then all we do is click this one and drag it right there and if we have our snap feature using the S keys turned on then it will just click right onto this playhead which is great and on this piano hit so we could either drag this one here, or if you don't want to like drag footage, you can just right click in the space and ripple delete. Let's say we want to change the dynamic of the track and bring in the, the bigger part of the song during this intro. Maybe right here, we want the track to come in and be bigger. This clip is already lined up to be in sync with this piano hit here. So I'm gonna hit C on the keyboard, and that brings our little razor tool. And I'm gonna cut right here, right on that piano hit. And then I'm gonna find a bigger part of the song that I wanna that I wanna put there. Perfect. Find exactly where that hits using my arrow key. Right there. You can hear that little bass hit come in. Then I can delete everything before that. And then just drag this in. Let's see what this sounds like. Heck yeah. Sometimes when you line audio up like this in songs, there's like a weird like popping noise. If you want to fix that, you just hover over where these connect, right click, apply default transition, and then you'll get this little constant power thing. And you can just kind of experiment with what makes it sound better, but I usually keep it nice and small like that. And that just fades the audio together to work real nicely. If you wanna get started and this is kind of overwhelming, just go shoot some footage on your phone or whatever camera you have, and then just follow these steps, just kind of run through it, get to practicing it, and see what you can create by just like following these short little steps. And if you need help, comment below, and I'm always looking at my comments, so I would love to try to help you out. You can also email me at zachmayfield3 at gmail.com. I would love to just chat with you and hopefully help you figure out some cool stuff. So. God bless the broken road. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm really pushing YouTube hard this year. I want to make it my full-time gig. I have a master plan that I will reveal soon. Thanks for supporting. Love you guys.